I'll go to the next part of user experience, the Vande Bharat trains. First, Vande Bharat train came in 2017-2019. Two trains which came and started running on the Indian Railways tracks, by now they have covered 18 lakh kilometers. If you follow the formula 2 pi r, Earth's radius, they have covered Earth 45 times without any major problem. It's a technological marvel. It's Vande Bharat train is like a combination of a power plant, of a very complex computer system and a very complex mechanical system going together at a speed of 180 kmph design and currently operating at 130 till the tracks are upgraded. So, whenever in our system, whenever we do something, uh, prime, we go to the Prime Minister, we think that we have done great and then the PM will say, no, this was the bar, now up to this, go up to this. I don't know where the roof is, so someday we will have to, he keeps on raising the bar. And uh, he said that, no, we have to have better design. So, this is the version 2 where lots of improvements have happened. And uh, now, practically every month, we will be rolling out uh, 3 to 4 Vande Bharats. And PM's target is to connect by 2023, 15th August, the next year, 15th August, 75 cities have to be connected. Himachal, this is Himachal, this is where. Now, why I showed this? This is bogey. Like in a truck, we have the chassis, right? Chassis is what gives the strength to the truck and over that there is a body, right? Similarly, in, in a train, below the coach, there is a bogey. Bogey is where all the, the wheels are put in, the brakes are put in, the uh, motor is installed on it, everything practically. This is the, this is the structure which gives the strength and the capability. Why I am showing here is, in typical good European countries, the design tolerances are in few millimeters, three and a half millimeters, four millimeters. Those of you who still remember your engineering, right? So, um, we thought, why don't we take a bigger challenge? We decided to design this bogey with less than one millimeter tolerance. And the impact which will be, practically whole world will be buying this very crucial piece of every train set from India. Because the design is significantly superior to what is available in Europe. And what's the result for the users? This is an air spring, right? This air spring and this damper spring combined and the very low tolerances which make it, uh, makes it a very rigid body means today when when prime minister traveled about 40 kilometers in this train uh, he must have stood up about 15 times to get photographs with the welders with the electricians technicians all the people who came there not a single not even once did he have to take support of a seat or of the cabin baggage area absolutely no jerks Absolutely no jerks. And the sound level, noise level, aircraft noise level is typically 85 to 90 decibels. Noise level inside the train, because of this very good design of the bogey, is only 65 decibels. It's like silent, like silent. So, by now, about 18 countries have already written reports about the Vande Bharat in their local newspapers. And somebody as important as Financial Times wants to do a full-fledged feature on it. So, this is the third. Now, we reach this level and boss says, no, this is not enough. So, he has given us new targets. We are now designing the third version of it, which will be lightweight. Lightweight and totally, we will try to do start from zero, so that whatever we have learned, incorporate and do even better. I will come to the bullet train. So again, aspirational India. What's happening outside the tech world? What's happening outside the world of startups? Just some glimpses. By now, 180, uh, 108 kilometers of pillars are done. Sir had started this project and uh, 
by now 108 kilometers uh, the uh, viaduct corridor is getting done and again using totally new technology speed very fast construction did anybody get a chance to see it uh, while traveling in that stretch you have seen how is the construction fast you, you saw it near Baroda right anybody else did get a chance no if you get a chance go around and see you will feel proud of the country which is taking shape you will feel that yes this is a totally new India which is taking shape you will see that in front of your eyes these are the kind of projects which will make a huge difference in people's lives as much difference as you are bringing through your innovations and startup startups right all the rivers large casting yards very big machines totally what happened is many of these machines this kind of machines which are which pick up a thousand ton thousand ton is like 500 trucks so thousand ton kind of uh, load in one go and puts it on the top of the uh, pillars it these are huge complex machines and good thing is first few machines we imported because this kind of technology is practically there in only three countries in the world this kind of construction technology so first few machines couple of machines we imported everything else we manufactured in india that's our brain right that's the way that's the way we can make a very huge scale up uh, and uh, i'm i'm sure if you get some times watch it on youtube or whatever is your preferred mode look at some of these there's uh, look at some of these construction technologies very rapid construction so this guy brings the uh, this huge girder which uh, weighs a thousand tons puts it on top of this there is a uh, transporter having 216 wheels that transporter takes it to the next level uh, next pillar and then this guy the launching guy this guy picks it up and puts it on the next pillar so that's it's it's a phenomenon it's an it's something worth going out and seeing by yourselves or seeing on a video to believe it what you see in with um, the, 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 the construction of high speed in China or that kind of stuff is happening out here so what should the station look like should it look like the way it has looked like for 100 years or should it be totally different totally for a new generation the aspirational generation which is coming up people who are exposed to things that are happening all over the world so this is new delhi station would you believe this these are the two domes under which the entire station the railway tracks the platforms are this entire elevated corridor around it this is the new generation of india's railway stations this will be new delhi station already tendered out estimates done cabinet approvals got work should work should start uh, in uh, coming four to five months almost all the permissions taken from all the different agencies that are there should this be limited only to delhi absolutely not this should be throughout the country we should try and see which are the big cities smaller cities where we can replicate this kind of design this is the overall master plan of the Delhi station and this is within the station huge new urban space is getting created multiple levels this is called roof plaza multiple levels lots of waiting space lot of lots of space for um, local products food courts everything that you can conceive of and this is Ahmedabad again thought is to create a totally new set of stations a totally new design of stations kitne log gujarati hai yahan pe koi kem cho majama sarasche good so this is what is the new station again lots and lots of new space getting created elevated road corridors this is kalupur area right you know how congested it is so how do we decongest the city and how do we create station as the city center that's the thought that that's the target that pm has given us and we implement it and the bad again inside a huge urban space getting created now Ahmedabad, mumbai delhi bangalore these are totally different category what about new jalpaiguri what about vishakapatnam what about bhubaneswar what about patna 
again following the same concept creating whatever space is required new urban space which is required and making the station as a city center new jalpaiguri ludhiana all these are stations where the tenders have already been awarded work has started this is not something which is in future right this is what is really happening today <clears throat> again ludhiana huge space getting created jammu tavi using our heritage our religious cultural our heritage elements out of that and incorporating those into the city uh, city's hub the cultural hub and commercial hub jaipur second entry again borrowing from the uh, the 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 architecture of the city anybody from jaipur like it great thumbs up yes excellent chennai alambur is the correct way to pronounce right anybody from tamil vanakkam sir alambur is the right way not egmore na we should change the spelling also bangalore can't uru <laughs> your uru how many from bangalore uru like it design is good we thought that flow is very important in bangalore's design this is the place which is full of energy the sine wave <laughs> we thought sine wave either either use sine wave or use dollars either of the two we cannot use anything other than this so we thought that let's use sine wave i am an engineer so bit of bias is there of course i studied finance also at wharton but between dollars and sine wave i thought sine wave is better to your question how many dollars are important <laughs> bangalore can't again why i showed this picture is the entire tracks and the platform get covered by a totally new roof plaza and that roof plaza becomes the urban space a new city center space where people can go have chat have hundreds of starbucks out there where you can have your new age startups there <clears throat> 